Drew Rossum reports time in this morning, the start of a special series aimed at making your kid's school year a successful one. Today, National Investigative Correspondent Jeff Rossum here with important information. Jeff, good morning to you. Good morning to you guys. It is back to school, and we have you covered this morning from your kid's safety to their health. Turns out as parents, many of us are making simple mistakes every day. I know I am. From their backpack to their lunchbox to what they would do in a real emergency. This morning, gather your family around the TV. It's one-stop shopping to make sure you're all prepared. Your kids are heading back to class. And you know what that means, heavy backpacks. Your backpack weighs 16 pounds. It's just because I have all my books in there. Sugary snacks. More than 50 grams of sugar in this. Think your child knows important basic safety information? What's your mom's phone number? I don't know. Don't worry, it's the Rossin Report's back to school checklist. Step right up, kids, come on up. And we're covering it all. First up, those big backpacks. More books in them, causing more injuries, neck, back, shoulders, knees even. 14,000 injuries a year. That's almost 80 for every single school day. And experts say backpacks should be no more than 10 to 15% of your child's body weight. That means for a 50-pound kid, that's no more than 7 half pounds. But just look at these numbers. Do you think this is heavy? Yes. It feels heavy. Let's weigh it. What do you think this weighs? I don't know. You don't know either or why. 16 pounds. Kid, your backpack weighs 16 pounds. My mom says I'm not I'm not supposed to carry it because it's too heavy. After kid, 19 pounds. Does that feel heavy on you? Yeah. Most of them hauling around too much weight. 20 pounds on your back. It's these textbooks. There's another textbook, two binders. What? Oh, hold on. Another binder. Do you have to take all this home with you every day, or can you leave some at school? I just wanted to be prepared. It's always good to be prepared. Maybe leave some of it at school. That way you don't have to walk around with as much on your back. All right. John, see you, buddy. One of the things weighing them down, their lunchbox. And experts say what's in there could be hurting them, too. Hi, guys. I want you to grab your lunch boxes out of your backpacks and put them on this table for me. Doctors say children should have less than 25 grams of added sugar per day. Okay, so we've opened up all the lunch boxes here, and don't worry, we're not saying whose is whose. What are you noticing? Look at this, 24 grams of sugar, almost everything that you need in one meal. This one, 19. This juice, 16 grams of sugar. This one lunch box has more than 50 grams with all of this food in it. That's double the entire day's intake right here in this lunch box. Exactly. Are you seeing anything here you like? I did find a good one, and I love this one because we've got a burrito in here that's homemade. We've got apples. We've got peppers. We've got fruit and nuts. We have water. And we even have a little treat. So there's a little piece of chocolate in there. A little bit. That's fine. Kids do want snacks. Yeah, I want a snack, too. Just don't break the bank on sugar. Exactly. But the biggest lesson of the day, something kids could need walking to and from school, their parents' emergency contact information. We found a few kids who do know it. What's her home phone number? 301. Is she right, Mom? She's right. Nailed it. Nice Woo! job. But most don't. What's your home phone number? Um, I don't know. You don't know? That's OK. Mom will remind you later, OK? What's your home address? I don't know. Do you know Mommy's phone number? I don't know. For all of us parents, an important wake-up call. This is a good reminder that, that I have to teach him uh, the phone numbers and all the emergency contact information. Thank you for reminding everybody in America. Oh, it is our pleasure we're all in this together. This is my daughter Sloan, by the way, here for another little uh, demo and a bonus tip for you. And by the way, big thanks to the St. Elizabeth Catholic School in Maryland for helping us out. All right, so it's not only how heavy your backpack is, but how you're wearing it. Turn around, Sloan. This is her backpack, by the way. Look how low it is. And when you walk around schools, you see how low kids are wearing backpacks. Uh, experts say, and turn around this way, sweetie, perfect. They say that the top of it should be at shoulder level, and the bottom of it should be no more than two inches below the, your waist. So we're just going to go ahead and do this. Sloan, we're going to help you. Does that feel okay? <laughs> Can you tell mom does this most mornings and not me? So you do that, and you pick that thing up, and that's going to help out. Let's go.
Let's go say hi to him. Uh, turn around this way. So now, that's how it looks now. You see how high it is now? Much better. Come on over here, love. We're going to go say hi to Matt and Savannah real quick. Come over. Do you see the difference? It, it's yeah. really helpful because it's lower back pain and these kids are getting injured going crazy. Does it feel better, kids. Sloan, when it's up like that? Yes. It does. <laughs> okay, good. And by the way, we're, we're bringing her right to school. She's not a true. Oh, go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That was my <laughs> question. Exactly. <laughs> All right, Sloan, great to see you. Good job. It's a pleasure. Jeffrey, thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.